Drupada was the king of Panchala. He had a beautiful daughter named Draupadi and a son Drishtadyumna. The Drupada king was preparing for the swayamvar of his daughter. In a swayamvar, the bride can choose her husband from all eligible kings. All kings from near and far were invited. A pole was fixed in the center of the hall. On top of it, a fish was attached, which was kept in rotation. Beneath that, a pool of water was kept, in which the reflection of the fish could be seen. The kings have to aim at using the reflection and shoot the eye of the fish. The Pandavas had also taken part in the Swayambar. Be seated, my brave kings. I welcome you all to the Swayambar of my beloved daughter Draupadi. My daughter will be married to the most talented king, the king who shoots the eye of the fish, looking at the reflection of the water. Good luck to you all. As per the instructions of Her Majesty, the Swayambar commences. First comes the king of Kalinga to aim at the fish. It is now the turn of the king of Mahad. The brave king of Jarasan shall try his luck. The prince of Anga comes next to try his luck. Wait, King of Anga, I don't want to get married to the son of a charioteer. And now it is the turn of the prince of Hastinapur, the elder son of Dhritarashtra, the brave Duryodhana. fish so Draupati has to marry him. No, it's not right. He hasn't shot the eye of the fish so he's not the rightful winner. But he has shot the fish. If you give me a chance, I will shoot the eye of the fish. How can a Brahmin be an archer? Alright, try your luck. Oh King, we would now have to go back to our home with your daughter. It would please me if you stay at the palace for a couple of days more. Pardon us, Your Majesty. Our mother is all alone at home and we should go immediately. All right, I shall send you back with my daughter along with gifts and the royal escorts. If Your Majesty would excuse us, we do not wish for any precious gifts or royal escorts. If that is your wish, you can move forth. But keep in mind to come again with your mother. Mother, mother, please come and see what we have brought as arms today. Whatever it is, share equally among yourselves. <gasps> oh, 
Oh God! What have I said? I made a mistake. What shall I do now? Oh Kunti, do not worry. Draupadi had a boon from Lord Shiva in the previous birth. So whatever happens now is according to her destiny, and it's not your fault. <laughs>